To perform the test, follow the reference analysis methods provided. After placing the test tube containing buffer R1 in one of the incubation cells, prepare the flask with reagent R1A for collection. Place the tip on the 50 microliter mini pet pipette. Collect the reagent, paying attention not to create bubbles in the tip. Add 50 microliters of reagent R1A to the test tube containing buffer R1. Then, gently shake the test tube three or four times by inversion and place it again into the incubation cell. Repeat the operation of adding reagent R1A for each other sample that needs testing and leave the test tube to incubate for at least five minutes. From the main menu, select the malic acid curve test, 20 microliters, and press Enter. The test parameters are printed and incubation one minute displays. Adjust the volume of the Socorex 20 200 microliter pipette to 20 microliters. Place the tip on the pipette. Socorex pipette foresees two steps. The first step is for collection. The second step is for the release of the sample. Therefore, press up to the first step to collect the sample. Insert the tip into the sample and release the button to start collection. Turn the pipette and gently clean the outside of the tip with clean blotting paper. Insert the tip in the liquid contained in the test tube with R1 plus R1A and pipette for two to three times up to the second step to completely release the sample in the test tube. Finally, keeping the pipette button pressed, extract the tip. Gently shake the test tube three to four times by inversion and place it again in the incubation cell. Repeat the operation of adding the sample for each other sample that needs testing. Then, press Enter to start the incubation. Upon completion of incubation, press Enter. Insert blank displays. Place the test tube in the reading cell marked with the green light. Press Enter to perform the reading of the blank. Repeat the blank reading operation for each other sample that needs testing. Press arrow up to stop the blank reading operation. Incubation three minutes displays. Prepare the flask containing reagent R2 for collection. Place a new tip on the 50 microliters mini pet pipette. Place test tube with R1 plus R1A again in the incubation cell. Collect reagent R2, paying attention not to produce bubbles in the tip. Add 50 microliters of reagent R2 to the test tube. Gently shake the test tube three to four times by inversion and place it again in the incubation cell. Repeat the operation of adding R2 for each other sample that needs testing. Then, press Enter to start the incubation. Upon completion of incubation, press Enter. Insert sample displays. Place the test tube in the reading cell marked with the green light and press Enter to perform the reading. Repeat the reading operation for each other sample that needs testing. At the end of the reading session, the test results are printed. Finally, press Enter and arrow down to return to the test menu.